Okay, good morning, Julie. I'm here at the uh, Mount Clemens project. We took the uh, day off today, I'm really tired. Um, <clears throat> okay, I'm about to show you the, uh, the walls in here are coming along fine. This is the front room area right here. Um, we're going to be replacing these windows. This window right here in the um, living room area, we're going to replace this Monday. Also, these two windows right here in the dining room area, we're going to replace. The, um, the opening that was there, we drywalled that area right there, mudded it. So we're basically just waiting on the drywall, the mud to dry. Give it to Monday, we'll be back here to um, finish it up. Right here in the kitchen, on these walls right here, it was so terrible. We're trying to get these walls back together so that we can um, paint them, kilt them and paint them and get them ready so that we can get the, uh, the cabinetry in. And right here on this wall, I'm gonna put a GFI and a switch on this wall so that it can be, it, you gotta have a GFI near water and a light for um, a cabinet. We took that fan off the wall that was right there, that's gone. Right here, all of that's all mudded right there. Looking good right there. Yes, indeed, that's coming along real good. Okay, I'm gonna take you upstairs so you can see the upstairs. Okay, now we're upstairs. This is the uh, front room right here. As you can see that there's been paint going on the wall, but we had to come back and we had to do a, a couple of more touch-ups on the walls to get the, uh, the walls together, as you can see. So Monday, we'll sand that down and we will paint that again. Now in this closet right here, he applied mud in here. We just have to just basically just sand it and um, paint this. Inside this room in here, as you can see, we put applied mud to the walls in here. Fix that hole that was up there in that ceiling part. So basically this room right here is ready to go to be sanded and painted. And this rear room right here, this room is ready to go to be sanded and painted, as you can see. Okay. Now, the bathroom is gonna take a lot of work to get these walls together because they had panel on these walls. As you can see, we took some of the paneling off. We still have to take more of it off, but see how the walls is? They're real, real rough. So we're gonna have to basically like sand these walls down and try to get them together in this bathroom, as you can see. Now, another thing too also, I took that light and that heater out of there and um, inside this, inside here, I gotta put a GFI here. None of this electrical works, so I have to run new electrical. That's why we open up the wall right here so I can run my electrical through that wall. And also, um, I built this right here for the um, tub and shower. The frame for that as well. And as you can see, I put the, um, the tub and shower diverter in right here along with the plumbing. I had to redo all that stuff and that's the shower right there. So once we're gonna put a shower kit around, we're gonna drywall this and we're gonna put a shower kit around the tub area. Caulk it and everything, seal it. We're gonna glaze the tub, bring it back pearl white again. And um, you know, it's just, you know, the project is coming along here. It's just that we didn't know that we was gonna have to go through a lot of this stuff with this paneling that's on the wall. So the walls is real bad. Like the bathroom, 
I'll show you this in the bathroom. The bathroom on the um, first floor. We're gonna also get into this bedroom here too on Monday. We got a lot of stuff on this wall, a lot of glue on the wall that we gotta take out. So we're gonna get to this wall as well. And this bathroom here on this first floor is definitely gonna need some more work. I know you said that you was thinking about taking this bathroom out, but Julie, this bathroom is a part of the one and a half bathrooms in this house, you know, you'll lose value if you take this bathroom out. So we're going to keep this bathroom. So I'm about to take you to the basement as well. Just hold on for a second. Okay, so now we're in the basement down here. This wall right here, remember this wall with that ugly panel on it? We took that out and put drywall there. So that's all taped and mudded. We put drywall there, taped and mudded that. Also around here by the furnace area, we put drywall up here. Also drywall at the bottom right there. We put all that down there. As you can see, and over here, we drywall this area over here. We're gonna leave this open in here because there is basically shelving in there. I know you can't probably see us because it's dark. Oh yeah, my drywall guy been down here doing this thing. So we put drywall down here, fixed all of that stuff in there, put drywall up over here, put it up over there. And this right here, we're gonna leave this open. Now let me know if you want me to leave this part open right here or close it off because it might be a fire hazard. I don't know to close it off, but just let me know if you want me to close this part off. I will close that off. And then over here too, we put drywall up over here, as you can see. Well, I have to finish this up right here because I got to remove that plumbing from upstairs so that um, we can rearrange it. So that's why we left this part open, but we're gonna close that up as well. And we're also gonna close this part up too, as well. So, as you can see, Julie, the property is coming along real good. The only bad thing that we have, the only issue that we have is getting the walls together because the walls were bad. So after we get done with the walls, and the ceilings and get everything painted we're going to um i'm going to come in here get my guys to put the floor down in this kitchen and it's going to be ceramic tile and then after that we're going to put the cabinets in that's the biggest project is this kitchen so just to let you know all right, so Julie, let me know if you have any questions. Um, I'm going to send this video. I hope it make it because it's a real long video. So <laughs> I'm going to send it to you and thank you guys. And let me know also if you want me to go over there to the house out there in the Boston Edison area. We were a little bit busy yesterday, so we couldn't, you know, do it. I was on my knees all yesterday with knee pads on trying to get everything done so let me know okay thank you and god bless you